the Maths Games at Home videos have been created to support homeschooling at the time of the coronavirus. The videos are taken from a series prepared for teachers and volunteers working in crisis settings. Learning mathematics is best done through practical work, lots of repetition, using different examples. And this is what the games are intended to give your child. OK, with the 100 square, you can play um, a game using the dotty dice as well. So again, you can take, depending on the level of the children, you can take one, two, three, four dice. So I'm going to use three. So you throw them. And this time I'm going to choose only one number that I'm going to put the um, bottle top on. So I can add, I can subtract, I can divide, I can multiply. So for example, I could do one and five make six. Take away three, I could put one on three. Um, I could do three times five is 15. I could add one and make 16 or take away one and make 14. So I'm going to go with three times five is 15. Add one makes 16 and I'm going to choose 16 for my first counter. Now the other team will play and they will throw. So let's say I'm representing the other team now um, and they've thrown five, a four and another five. So they could say, okay, I'm going to do five and five makes 10 and four makes 14. Or they could say, right, I'm going to do five times five is 25. 25 times four is 100. So they could put a counter on 100. But this game, we're trying to play the first of four in a row. So probably what they're going to want to try and do is to see, well, how can they stop me? Yeah, how can they block me? So they're going to want to put a number around here. So maybe five and five makes 10 plus four makes 14. So maybe they're going to put their counter on 14. OK, so now it's my turn again or my team. And we throw, and this time I've thrown five, two, and one. So I want to try, if I can, to make one of the numbers around my original counter. So five times two is 10, and one makes 11. Well, I'm over here, I might influence them, but I'll see if I can do better than that. Five and two um, is seven, and one makes um Eight, mm, that's a bit too far away. So what about five and two is seven? Take away one is six. Ah, now that's a good move because I've now got two in a row. So my partner, the other team, they're going to be trying to block me if they can here because next time I'm going to be looking to see if I get 26. So you keep playing and then the first team to make four in a row, the winners. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics, a guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low cost or no cost teaching and learning aids. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.